That was weird. I'm sure my stream is being offline for a second, but it could just be my laptop. I use a horrible laptop for monitoring my stream. <laughs> it's so old, this thing is from like 2005 or something. It is so, so, so ancient. That's why I broadcast from the Xbox, rather than just capturing it through my capture card on my PC, because this thing would drop so many frames. This, this laptop's so old. It should play the Sanford Sun theme when you cut it on. I think that would actually be pretty funny. Like, I should set that in the Windows menu. <laughs> Every time you hit the power button, you just hear that little intro to Sanford Sun start up. Love that show. Back when I used to watch a lot of sitcoms. I don't really watch sitcoms anymore. I don't really watch much TV at all anymore. But, yeah. Yeah, I've got it installing, honey. So I'll hop on GTA five with you as soon as it's as soon as it's ready. If you're still here. I can't tell my viewer numbers are going all over the place, which is being a little weird right now. Wow, my ping altogether is being weird right now. I have to reset my freaking router or something. What the fudge? Unless this is just the killers. It's like the host's ping here. What is going on? What is happening? This is laggy. This person's just not even moving. They're just like, screw it. It's so laggy, I don't even want to move. What is going on? Yeah, this must be the host. Yeah, you're here. I'm glad, hun. Look at this lag. It's so insane. I've never, ever... What is the host on, like, standby mode? What the heck is going on? This is the laggiest Dead by Daylight match I've ever been in. The walking seems to not mess it up as much as running, but still, it's still pretty bad. Even repairs are acting a little wonky. I've never actually come across lag on Dead by Daylight before. It's usually pretty lag free. I don't know what's going on here. Is it battling a torrent or. Did I get hit and I'm still moving normally or what? I don't even understand what's going on. It's so laggy. Escaped? I don't know. Really? Did I? Because I don't know. I'm moving around the map so much. This is weird. If somebody quit out, I can't blame them. This flag, I quit out too. I don't even know why I'm still in here with this lag. Because I usually don't quit. It is super bad. Wow. Yeah, it is. It's 
It's making me dizzy. <laughs> I'm moonwalking. I just moonwalked. I might put on Billy Jean because I just freaking moonwalked. There it goes again. I was not even doing the repair. Th what? Okay. Now I'm over here. <laughs> Very odd. Let's try it from this side. I should leave, yeah. I think it's so too. Just trying to get my points here is all. But then yeah, it's impossible to repair and it's just so wacky. Where's the pings? Yeah, I guess so. I'm like the last one left here unless I go for that guy and this match is so laggy. Screw it. Super laggy. I have no desire to spectate. <laughs> None. No desire to see what happened after that. With that super laggy match. I'd just rather not know. That person was downloading like a torrent or something. Yeah, absolutely. I was actually a moderator in a Michael Jackson tribute room right after he passed away, in fact. So I was a huge Michael Jackson fan. I stayed up for three days doing that without sleep. Three days. That's how, like, into it I was, just being able to meet all these people that were also huge Michael Jackson fans and talk about his career and talk about all the great songs he's had. And we all watched all these music videos because it was just like this marathon that they were doing and in tribute to him where they just kept replaying all his videos. But being a moderator in there was crazy because there were 20,000 people in there and obviously Michael Jackson was a bit of a controversial figure at certain times because, you know, there were some accusations made towards him and whatnot. And so being a moderator in there was kind of tricky. My rule was that people could have healthy debates about the subject, about whether or not Michael was possibly a pedophile. But like, you know, people couldn't just come in there and say, obviously, offensive things. Because it was a tribute to them. But they could still have debates about certain things. It was an interesting uh, time being a moderator there. But yeah, I never believed those accusations against Michael Jackson. I believe he was a good person, but I don't know for sure. Nobody, I guess, does. 
I love his music, though. <laughs> Great music. Wasn't like with the Chris Benoit thing, where we know that guy's a creep, right? <laughs> Chris Benoit was definitely a creep. That guy killed his whole family, you know? Although there's, there's still people who believe that possibly Chris Benoit didn't kill his whole family, so... But I'm pretty sure that there was enough evidence there. Those little conspiracy theories used to drive me crazy. I hated that people spread so many of those. Yeah, absolutely. I have all of his albums, like, on CD. And I have, like, all the memorabilia, collectibles, everything. I have the stand-up from the Michael Jackson experience came out, because my dad was able to get it from the store. They let him take it home. <laughs> he was buying the game for me because I don't leave the house very much. That's why both jobs I have are at home. I work from home both as an audio transcriptionist as a Twitch streamer. And audio transcriptions, yeah, I just basically have to listen to audio files and type out what people say. Yeah, Chris Benoit was a good wrestler for sure. But... I mean, if he had really bad brain damage that made him act the way he did, then that's one thing. But otherwise, it's really inexcusable to hurt your family like that. But yeah, that was a very, a very sad thing. That was... That happened, I'll never forget that. In both cases. Oh my gosh, Michael! Like, fuck, I didn't even know he was nearby. I didn't hear a heartbeat. Did you hear a heartbeat? I did not hear a heartbeat. <laughs> Could be my headphones again messing up. Sometimes I drop certain sound effects because I'm putting them through an extender. An extender has a bit of a like, messed up thing to it because it's too long. <laughs> I gotta get a better headphone. Not the one that I use for talking, just the one that I use for listening. So I wear two different pairs of headphones at once, which, yeah. Earpods and uh, regular headphones. That's the only way I can wear two at once. Otherwise, yeah, it would look pretty ridiculous, right? Somebody is hooked nearby. I hear them. I don't know why they're not showing on the. Uh, I thought I had the little thing that makes me show on the day. <laughs> I'll see them. Either way, I need to heal. Them. Oh, fudge. I guess nobody else can see them either. Maybe that's a, uh, some kind of weird perk or something. I cannot see where the heck they are. The killer is running some kind of weird perk. I not see this person needs to be saved at all. Usually you can. Yeah, Dead by Daylight doesn't get as many viewers for me as Friday the 13th does. It's like, I pretty much... Friday the 13th is what really got me on the map on Twitch. Anybody who comes to see me comes to see Friday the 13th, so when I go on Dead by Daylight, I get, like, nobody. <laughs> you know, I, I, get, I get a few people, but I mean, it's usually pretty dead. <laughs> pretty dead. Sadly. <laughs> I haven't established myself as much on DPD in that community, so there are some folks who come in for both games, and 
and that's cool. But a lot of my community comes on like around between um, 1 Pacific to uh, 4 Pacific around the time that I come on. That's the reason I usually start that time. A lot of them are like 5 or 6 hours ahead of, of, of the Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> way, way ahead time-wise. So for them, it's like way, way late now. Like 4 a.m. A lot of my viewers come from like Scotland, Ireland, UK. There's a lot of my regulars, I mean. They come in regularly. I don't know why my perk, why is my perk not showing where the generators are? I didn't think that this match has been really weird all together, all around. He's still out there. There he is. He's pretty close. One person already disconnected, another person's living, and then there's me. There's just two of us here, wow. But yeah, you're the only one watching me play that's uh, talking. There's someone else lurking as well. Like I said, Dead by Daylight for me is not a hugely popular game. I know it is for other people because it gets like 10,000 viewers on Twitch and Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh, it only gets 200. Oh my gosh! That was pretty scary! GTA 5 Online. Yeah, it will be just like any game that I play new though. Anytime I start a new game, I've got to start at the bottom of the list because there's not that many people that come in to see me play that game. Yet, anyways, unless some of my existing followers are into it. That kind of thing, like, with a game I've already established on, as soon as I come online, all my existing followers are going to come about that. With the new game, it's always going to be a little slow. Like, this game's still pretty new for me. I only got it just, uh, was this sometime last month my boyfriend bought it for me. He bought it and all the DLCs for me. As opposed to Friday the 13th, which I've been playing since it came out. So not on stream since it came out. I played it, you know, since I started streaming July 27th. Yeah, it never hurts to, uh... To play different games. I just like to make sure that I always go back to the main ones. Like, Friday the 13th will always be my main one. Never want to turn off my, uh... Regulars. Even though, yeah, Friday the 13th is still kind of a dead game, some people say, because there won't be any new content, but in that case, pretty much any game's dead. It doesn't get regular updates. Let me check and see how far along GTA is. It's only 4%. 4%. Like I said, the game's like, what, 70 gigabytes or something? That game takes a long time to download. Plus it's longer because I'm playing a game at the time. Like if I wasn't playing a game at the time, it would go something like 80 megabyte. Oh yeah, I play with my followers, absolutely. I love doing that. I also like to bring them into the party and talk to them, if they don't mind having their voice broadcast at that as. Because it gives me some more people to talk to and it gives people who join my stream more people to hear. Which, you know, that's a win-win for everybody. Make it more social, more fun to watch. Like I said, usually lately I've been inviting my friend Kavina, who I met two days ago. I met her on Friday the 13th. She told me that she's a huge fan. I was like, oh, so sweet. She's really cool. You don't mind? That's good. I love having 
people talking to me and parties and stuff and being able to broadcast that. Instead of them just having to hear my voice all day, because I know it gets tiring just listening to me. Especially when I sound tired. That's got to make people tired. I worry about that. I don't want to make people tired by sounding tired myself, but I always stay up so long. <laughs> I was up so late yesterday, and I'm already on... Again, today I started as soon as I, like, I had like a three or four hour nap. Well, fudge. This map has been, like, hectic for me so far. Like I said, Friday the 13th is definitely my main game. <laughs> one person, though, I hope they rescue me. Time for me to take my nighttime medicine. <sighs> nighttime medicine. Jaw hurts so bad from TMJ. <laughs> my teeth. Anxiety. So bad. Oh, great. My Michael Face Camper. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm gonna leave another face camp in here now. I hate face campers. I ruined this game. I'm still gonna struggle. I'm gonna make you wait, honey. I'm gonna face camp me. I'm still gonna struggle. Got it on this game, never face camped. Even when people were toxic to me and looping me around stuff. Never. Five <laughs> percent. Yeah. Still taking a little while to install that. Yeah, he got me. Face camped me. Hey, when they face camp, not much to do then. Except you know, never get caught in the first place. But still unfortunate to ever get face camped.
Thank you, honey. That's so sweet of you to say. Cool person to know. Sorry, I was texting for a second there. I hope the sound effects didn't pick up on my mic. That's kind of an annoying sound effect, I know. I'm 31, hun. Oh, I used to tell guys I was 23, but now that I have a boyfriend, I just go ahead and tell them the truth. I'm 31. <laughs> that way, just might as well be honest. <laughs> I'm a little old. <laughs> but not that old, I just mean, I wish I was younger. I got so depressed when I had my 30th birthday. I was like, oh my god. 30. that generator for now. <laughs> we'll just sit over here. Oh fudge. That's a new killer. Try to drink some grape juice here. I love it. way more than drinking like soda and stuff. Natural juice is right from the air. It's just so bad. What? What the heck? What even happened? What even happened? Is this real? Am I seeing this? Am I... Is this... That was bizarre. That was really bizarre. I wasn't even in that room. See her drag me out of this hook. I'm just on here all of a sudden. Get a match like I usually do because I'm drinking grape juice, but that's okay. I don't know if I want to be in that match. Great match. Give that a one. Customer support. Yeah, let's talk to customer support.